Hello, I'm Amy Kubota, and this is my setup guide and review of the Elitab Gaming Monitor Stand. I am using this desk mount with my 32-inch Asus monitor. The stand fits 17 to 32-inch monitors on a Vesaplate mount system. I really like this stand for its cool design and easy installation. Let's go to uh, the unboxing so I can show you what all comes with this Elitob stand. The Elitob gaming stand comes in a box with what seems like sufficient packaging for protection during shipping. First, inside the box, we find promotional pamphlet and assembly guide. Inside of this nicely packaged box, Cable Management Guide The Stand Base The Monitor Stand Arm in a nice red and black design Nicely made screw mount Screws and hardware and another drilled hole mount. Vessel mounting plate. Mounting bracket. The first step in assembly is to cut the zip tie holding the arm closed. Next, we need to find the 5mm Allen key, the large black screw labeled O, the plastic spacer labeled N, and a washer labeled M. Next, we need to put the base on the bottom of the arm, then the washer, then the spacer. Then we need to tighten the big black screw with the Allen key. Next we will need the 4mm Allen key labeled P and the 4 screws labeled J. Then we need to mount the bracket to the base of the monitor stand. Make sure to get these screws tight. Next we need to grab the 4mm Allen key and the remaining two screws labeled J. There are two options for mounting. We chose the uppermost position. Screw the screw mount to the hardware bracket. If these screws are not tight, it can cause the monitor to fall off of the desk. Find the cable management guide and attach it to the hardware bracket. Slide the screw mount onto your desk and tighten it securely under the desk. It is holding all the weight of the arm and your monitor. Tighten it well to keep it from sliding or damaging your monitor. Try not to drop your phone. <laughs> now we need to mount the vessel plate to the back of your monitor. We need to find the plate 6mm alley key. Four screws labeled M does A, M does C, and four washers labeled M does E. There are also four spacers that can be used for curved monitors labeled M does F. We did not need them. Put the plate down on the back of your monitor and attach the washers and screws.
slide your monitor onto the arm make sure that end of the arm slides into the vessel plate correctly secure with a black screw use the 6 mm allen key to adjust the gas tension to keep your monitor from falling it may take a bit of adjustment plug in your power and display cable in the next step make sure to give enough slack on the cables to move your monitor freely if you do not leave enough cable free your cables can be damaged when you adjust your monitor use the provided cable management clip to secure your cables and route your cables under the lower arm of the stand now you want to carefully rotate the monitor and stand testing the full range of motion that you intend on using your monitor look for the cables binding and list components of the arm to make sure that your stand is holding your monitor safely it is also important to look for things that may damage your monitor as you move it around so now is my review portion of the video yeah I like the design let's see the design I really like this the color and the spring here and the gas uh, piston doesn't look like a, a robot hand um, what do you call that um, not the Terminator <laughs> what is the other one yeah it really looks like a robot arm so I really like the design and the color it's the best and yeah it's easy to install it's really easy and um, the directions is really really easy anyone can do it so easily yes yeah but sucks we broke this DMI cable mm-hmm and that sucks really but but when you do it just be careful not to broke it do it carefully <laughs> That's all I can say. So nice. We'll be using this every day. It's so handy. And when you watch a movie, you can move it. And anything. I mean, the way you want it. And any angles. It's really cool. I really love it. Like this, you know. And we got a speaker, but I think it's a good size for a monitor. Yes. And. We have to move the base here to make reefs. Everything. Oh wow! Yeah, we have to move the base to make it reach where we wanted it. But I think it's perfect. Yeah, I really like it. It's perfect. Cool. <laughs> well, this is my review and setup of the Ellie Tab Gaming monitor desk mount if you enjoyed my video um, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and um, thank you for watching the Mariato Gonzales and stay safe have a good day everyone bye